Welcome. In front of me is a Xiaomi Mi 9T Pro, and today I'll show you how to bypass the Google verification, verification screen on this phone. So to get started, let's actually first see if the phone is locked. I'm gonna skip through most of this just to get to the part where Google should block me. And there it is. So if I would want to set up the device, I would need to provide them with the previous Google account to actually continue the setup. So if you don't have one, let's go to get to the bypassing of this. And what you want to do is go to the network connection right here. And disregard the fact that I'm connected. Uh, you can connect to network or well, you should actually connect. So if you have one, just tap on it. And once you are connected, um, I think it will take you back to uh, or take you forward to this step. So just go back. And from here, tap on add network. And then in the SSID, just type whatever. It doesn't really matter. You just need letters to actually have ability to select them. And from there, you get the option uh, copy cut. And which one I tap is this uh, box with an arrow and it will give you share options. So from here, we're just gonna tap on Gmail and I just tap on skip, doesn't really matter here. Um, and then tap on add email address. That's what we needed network for. And from here, instead of choosing actually Google, uh, if, we, if you tap on Google, it will take you to the, um, to the bypass or well, to the setup. So you need to confirm the previous email. So we're gonna use Outlook. So Microsoft, and if you don't have an account, you can always go to Microsoft website and create it over there. Uh, it's just quick and simple. And once you have it, you can go back to this. So I'm going to type in the email address. Okay, and tap on next and put in the password. So I'm going to do that off the screen. And then tap on sign in. Hopefully I managed to type it in correctly and I did. So there we go. Now it's adding the email. Give it a moment. Yeah, I just tap on next. Next. And I just go to the email. So tap on the take me to Gmail. Let's go back. Next. Okay. And from here, tap on the bars. Once it's trying to load the emails, it doesn't really matter, we don't need them. What we need to do now is go to help and feedback. And from here, we have support. And the support, all you need to do is just type in Morse. So for me, it's right on the top, use Morse code. Just tap on it and it will give you a YouTube video. So once you tap on it, it will load and then you have the three dots, assuming you're in the portrait mode, if you're in the landscape, I think it would automatically show the clock, so maybe not. So yeah, tap on the three dots and you'll have the clock for watch later. Tap on it. And now we're being taken into the web browser. So not now, and I think I just messed up. So let me do that again. Okay, there we go. That's what I wanted to do. So just choose the browser instead of like skipping this okay so tap on accept doesn't really matter here off please open the browser there we go so apparently google doesn't work okay so you have to choose the default one so from here we're going to navigate into the hard reset info website so like so and then tap on the three bars up here and choose download and then download field you want to search for android 8 so like so as you can see android 8 and this is the first thing that shows up, which is the FRP bypass, tap on it. And then scroll down, tap on download right here. Allow and confirm it. And we'll start downloading, give it a moment. 
and there it is. So it automatically goes to installation. But before we can actually install it, we need to allow unknown sources. So tap on it, then go one field back. And now we can actually tap on the install button. Give it a moment, it's still installing. And once it's done, you can tap on open. So from here, you wanna tap on the Google Access Manager APK install and choose for version 6.0. And once again, the same process, allow unknown sources, go back and install. Now this time, once it's done installing, we're just gonna go back instead of opening it. So tap on back and we're back in the FRP bypass app. And now all we need to do is just tap on bypass FRP and then choose browser sign in. Tap on three dots up here and again tap on browser sign in. Okay. And we should see this screen right here. So now we can choose to log in with our existing Google account. If you don't have one, you can create all one and then use it. So I'm going to choose mine again. Okay. And then tap on next and then put in the password for this. So again, I'm going to that off the screen. And then tap on sign in. So you will see this and it just goes back to the FRP bypass app and we're well basically done at that point. So all you need to do now is hold the power key and then select reboot. Now keep in mind, uh, once the reboot is finished and we have set up the device, we still want to do a hard reset of the device to remove anything that might have uh, been left over from the previous account. So yeah, so basically once you, if you want to skip over to that part, you can just basically finish the setup and then go into the settings and do a reset of the device. And then it should be completely done. Yeah, so just continue on. And right here, when it's trying to connect to Google, we will now see the account that we have provided previously, which would be the hard reset. And as you can see, account added. And that's the same screen that previously wanted to be verified. So let's just tap on next. Tap on more, accept. Next, agree. Doesn't really matter what we have selected here, actually. We're still gonna do a reset of the device, so no thanks. And we're almost done, I think. Give it a moment. And as you can see, we're now on the home screen. So all we need to do now is regard the update. Doesn't really matter. Go into the settings, scroll all the way down. And I think it's under additional settings. Let's go down again, backup and reset. And then erase all data, factory reset right here. And then tap on reset phone. You will have to wait 20 seconds. So 10 seconds for this message and then 10 seconds for another one. Kind of annoying, but okay. And once more, okay. There we go. And now the phone will basically begin the reset. And once it's finished, we can then actually set up the device as we like, and it will be fully unlocked. There won't be any more Google verification screen. You can just add one or completely skip it all together. So I'll see you once the reset is finished. And now the process is finished, so I just go through the setup. Doesn't really matter what we what region we choose. We can connect the network. And as you can see, you have the sign-in 
And you can skip it if you don't want to sign in. Step on next. Doesn't really matter what you choose. <clears throat> I mean, for calls probably matters, but I'm just trying to go to this setup, as I said, fairly quickly. And there it is. And now, now the process is fully finished. So the device is now fully unlocked and ready to be used. You can set it up as you like, add any kind of account and there won't be any problem now. And if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.